All right, unmasking is a legitimate process that takes place. We have a lot of uh, surveillance going on. And in the course of this surveillance, there's American citizens who've done absolutely nothing, who are in contact with various foreign governments or, or ambassadors and so forth. And we have a Fourth Amendment. You're not allowed to spy on American citizens, okay? You have to go get a warrant based on probable cause. Uh, counterintelligence warrants are different. They're a little easier to get, but you still have to have a legitimate reason to be spying on an American. Uh, so when we have unmasking, it's possible that there is some kind of conspiracy going on. Uh, it could be that terrorists are conspiring with somebody in the United States to blow up a building. So there are legitimate reasons for all of this. But then again, there are illegitimate reasons too. And that is, you're not allowed to, as a matter of federal law, to unmask even the name of an American citizen unless you have a real criminal or counterintelligence basis for doing so. You don't get to just say, hey, we want to know what Flynn's up to. If you want to know what Flynn's up to, then you have to go through the, the FISA court process, which we also know is terribly flawed, but they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So I call this a backdoor violation of the Constitution's Bill of Rights, the Fourth Amendment, where they went in there and they just kept listening to everything they could to see if they could pick up Flynn doing anything. Uh, there was so, no reason. But they were, what they, what they were wiretapping was the Russian ambassador. And Correct. he was just an innocent American that was caught up in the surveillance of somebody else. So why would all of these people need to have access uh, to unmask General Flynn? What would be a legitimate reason to have it unmasked? What, what would Susan Power try to come up with? Susan Power, U.N. ambassador, why would she need to know seven times being un having this unmasked? She wouldn't, which is why she denied it in testimony. And let's see if she gets the Roger Stone treatment. Uh, she couldn't remember doing it ever. And, um, of course, Joe Biden couldn't remember anything about it. And it's so innocent. Well, he can't they remember anything. It, 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 exactly. Yeah. It's so routine, they tell us, that uh, what's the big deal? And yet... They all kept it very, very secret for a very long time. There's nothing routine about violating an American citizen's Fourth Amendment, their constitutional right. And you can see they wanted to take out Flynn. There was no legitimate reason. And the reason they wanted to take out Flynn is because Obama hated him. Obama had fired him. Trump embraced him, was bringing him into his administration. And Flynn knew where all the bodies were buried, whether it's at the CIA, whether it's at the... Uh, Defense Intelligence Agency, whether it's the Director of National Intelligence, whether it's Defense Department or anything else, and they needed to take him out. And they threatened him, and they wanted him to turn on Trump, to save himself, to save his son, to save his home, and he wouldn't, because there was nothing to turn on Trump for. Now, this is key. Through all the illegal surveillance, all the unmasking, they found no evidence, none, of Russia collusion. And in those phone calls with the ambassador, there was no violation of any law whatsoever. In other words, General Flynn is a hero. He was a hero. They use this Stalinist type, they abuse it in a Stalinist type way. Uh, you have a, a, a judge now that is playing along, doing very dastardly things. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, you finally have an attorney general and a U.S. attorney from the Eastern District of Missouri said, all right, the jig is up. You set this guy up. We're not char we want to drop the case. And uh, Michael Flynn, people need to understand something. He's not the only one. The true target of all this activity before the Michael Flynn stuff was Trump. They put spies, spies. The FBI put spies in the Trump campaign. The FBI used opposition research that they admitted was false as a pretext. They changed an email to go after Carter Page. Why did they want Carter Page? He's small potatoes. Because if you're surveilling Carter Page, then you can look at his texts, who he's texting, who he's emailing, and you just follow the chain. You go through the back door. You don't need a warrant on anybody else. Carter Page is the back door through whom you go in order to say, oh, who did he talk to and what else was being said and so forth and so on. At the very same time, you have McCabe leaking to the media, Comey leaking to the media, a guy Baker, the general counsel, leaking to the media. You have Stroke and Page doing the same thing. You have McCabe trying to uh, launch 
a 25th Amendment coup against the president with Rosenstein. Mm. I mean, you couldn't write a book. You couldn't write a movie. Nobody, like would, this. And then nobody again, would believe nobody this. Nobody would believe it. Nobody no. would believe it if it was a movie. 